Good morning. Sometime in January 10th, 12th, 11th, 13th, some 14th, I don't know. It's one day. Um, we're doing a little bit different. I think I've mentioned this. Um, with the sink, we've moved it out of the corner over to the side. Dan has built me a, um, a cabinet to put my sink in with some counter space, which I desperately needed. I didn't know how much I was actually going to need that because I don't cook a lot, but cabinet space is everything in a small space. <laughs> so, I need things to set stuff on my little drop-down table. Uh, it worked, uh, except everything was in that corner, so it became kind of a hassle. And Dan looked at it, and uh, so he said, like, I want to build you some cabinets. So, that's what he's working on, and I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what has been done the dan van is moving my sink from that back corner to right here by the door and uh, i'm trying to put me in a couple of drawers uh, a little cabinet space um got a little wall over there now um i'll have a little cabinet not much cabinet space but some more than i had So Dan, what are you thinking about this build? I'm loving it. This build is mucho fabuloso. <laughs> I love that. It was weird waking up this morning and I remember oh, before I opened my eyes, the rig has changed some. Don't just jump out of bed. And so I didn't. And kind of space galore. Yep, yeah, we've got uh, so much not galore, but you've got much more than what you had before. Boy, that I, I didn't have any before <laughs> other than that little swing thing over there. But yes, and I love this little piece. It was great. It's not too big. It worked. I could put my hot pot on it this morning. But we rounded the corners off a little bit this morning. And so I'm happy with the way all it's this is there. looking. That is in there, baby. That's in there. I have a wall. The refrigerator can open all the way. The cat is dish. Her food will be down here. So all of this is good. We've got bungee cords on the door handles. And you might say, what's inside that? Well, I could show you better from outside. I'll show you what's inside there. Over here, we're going to make me some, there'll be deep, narrow drawers to put in my, um, some silverware that I actually have and um, my utensils for cooking. This is the other side of the doors. Uh, this is probably gonna change a little bit, and but I'm loving it. It's outside. Also, I think I've shown you this before. This is a 360 faucet for my uh, sink, and I love it because I have a hose that I can attach to that. I can now wash my hair outside if I so choose to do so. Uh, come in handy for a lot of things <laughs> filling up something without having to climb up the steps and go in and uh, But we're having a good time. We yes, have we some are. more more stuff in the back that that's going to go away and Some additions going on back there, but it's not going to happen today But it's going to happen in the very very near future yeah. like pretty quick <laughs> All right, tomorrow. like tomorrow Dan. What are we saying right now? Everyone I hope you're having fun because I am you should be too. Right now, my bed is being going to be taken apart. Uh, Dan is going to rewire it. He needs to rewire my pump, and so it requires getting up under there. So I've taken everything apart almost, and uh, we'll get all that taken care of today. Everybody is still asleep. It was a very, very cool morning. I have my tent set up. I have striker tethered. She can go in and out. That's where her food and her her necessities are. Um, and she's hooked up to that chair as well, but she can get in and out. And she kind of likes the freedom of that. She misses being in the van. Uh, I put her in here at night. She didn't want to leave in the morning, so <laughs> I don't blame her. I don't. I don't either. And I don't like the setup. But right now, you got to do what you got to do on a rebuild. So that's what we're doing. But I sure have some beautiful views to wake up to in the morning, and you just can't fuss about that at all. At all. The big guns this morning. Dan and Fool are running the wire. 
off uh, redoing the wiring. Uh, water pump. Now we gotta get this over there. And, and they're running it all the way up on that rib there. And they're gonna bring it down into the wire for the wall over there. Your little knife? Yeah, or give me a screwdriver if you did. Uh, got a screwdriver. Oh, you probably would. I thought it was probably doing better. Yeah. No. What what build is this, Frugal? Van build sixteen. <laughs> Van build sixteen. You heard it. Frugal's been involved in. All of them, except the one. except the one that my little brother did this this summer. But her and Dan are back on it. They've uh, today. Dan's been working on it. He got my cabinet built, uh, which I'm very thankful for. We just had to rehook, had to buy some more wire, and so he could hook my water pump back up. And I love it because they went up through that rib up there and down across behind the cabinet and down the wall so that'll be covered up fairly soon it's gonna be good to have a running sink again i've been without it a couple of nights but we've maintained not doing without i have to find my vacuum cleaner they put a hole in the wall there uh made it easier access should have done that from get go that wasn't done um, now we don't have to unhook the battery and all that good stuff, so it's a work in progress. But I think when this this is done, I think that will be the end of it. And I know you guys that have been at this a long time are laughing your butts off. So uh, when I get it like I want it, I won't be changing it. I would like it. However, that's not the story. Frugal told Dan, he goes, you know, I've known Doves for a long, long <laughs> time. And how is it you said I did my house every time you came over? What was happening? <laughs> your furniture was moved around in your living room or your bedroom was in a, your bed was in a different bedroom. Every time <laughs> I went, your furniture was different. So this is the third or fourth time on this bed. On this fan, um, well, you put the original bed in, and we're rock not counting the first van. Not counting the first van, that's true. <laughs> and then, so she did. She put the bed in that one. She put the bed in this one. Yeah. Uh, and then my little brother moved it from the this way to yeah, from the back to the side, which I I like it a lot better. Um, I have more room to stretch when the cat's not being a bed hog. And, but yeah. So that's the way the bit band build goes. You want to turn it off? What are you doing today, Dan? Get ready to saw. Making drawers. What are you doing, Frugal? Making drawers. I'm going to put on my glasses. Oh, look at that. A lot of concentration going on over yeah. there. Hang on just a minute, folks. They're remeasuring. You know what they say. Measure twice, cut once. She double checking. What'd you say, L? L for love. Oh, L. I don't know. Dan's hair kind of reminds me of Richard Gere with his glasses on, his head down, working. <laughs> Woo! Well, you do. <laughs> What's the tape say? The tape says. Dan, Frugal, are y'all building me a birdhouse for outside my rig? Yes. All right. Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds. 
Dan's drilling a hole and Krugel's going to put in a screw. Guys are putting the runners on their floors. Okay. You want to move that one? Day 54 of the van build. Wait, is that right, Daniel? I mean, is that right? Hey, Daniel, I'm thinking about you. Is that right, Frugal? Dan, is that right? Wait, what'd you say your stake? 16. It's 16 van builds with day 54 of this van build. <laughs> I've had two vans. Which drawer number is this one? Drawer number three. This is drawer number three, but we've only built how many drawers? Two. Okay, y'all get that? Y'all are a smart bunch. That's, this is my uh, deep drawer, and what'd you call it, Frugal? Uh, your spatula drawer. But that's not what you called it, already. Spatula drawer. Uh, spatula drawer. There's a story behind that. And Striker's getting the daily thing down. I don't remember really what day, uh, how many days we're on this? Four, maybe. Um, and that was with buying material and, and things. Uh, coming back to Quartzsite, we stopped in, uh, Home Depot and Yuma picked up supplies. But I have a few things in here, and one of them being Stryker. Uh, she can come in and out but, uh, till evening, and then I zip her up in there until I'm ready to take her in the van because coyotes are out here. Um, so I'm always having to watch her. Um, but she's doing real good. Usually I have to carry her out and put her in here this morning. She got on her leash, and she just walked right over. She goes, I got this now, and I know I'm safe, so she's all good. And uh, she's sleeping so this is her daily routine pretty much in the van if we're not out walking but she likes to get up and walk in the morning so we've been walking you're gonna clamp it to the table clamp it clamp it let's see if we can yes, see that better you're putting the front on the drawer you clamp it to the table? yes I don't know it's gotta dry let's uh... look nice we get this wood for your face Ooh. Yeah. That's the pretty wood? That's yeah. pretty. Touch yeah. that wood. Rub your hand on that wood. That wood. Oh, that wood feels good. Birch. Birch. Oh, that's a stuffy piece we got from Dan, uh, Randy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah awesome. Man, you, everybody needs a frugal and a Dan in their lives, I'm telling you. Jay, is this like day 98 of the van build? Day 98. Day 98. And we're still working slowly, getting her done. I had to go get some flowers yesterday. Babs rode with me back to Yuma. Dan's resizing material that we can use. And Dubs has got to get rid of some things. <laughs> the tent. Tent will have to stay. There's some places that you have to use those when you're in state parks. So, anyway, uh, it's all good. I still got to get rid of stuff. I think the filing cabinet is probably going to be gone. Uh, we'll make it in a room for things. Um, I've got canned goods and stuff in there. My pens. That's the most important. I had to have my pens. Um, but we now have a drawer for those. And so I'm a happy camper. But what I really want to show you guys is. Look at that view. That's just really pretty to wake up to in the morning. 